Hey guys, how's it going? So right now I want to cover how to loop over the data. So currently inside of my page, if I press log in, what I have is that I have the map at this, I have the image at this one point. And this one point is currently this map view marker. So this map view marker has a title, a description, and a coordinate for latitude and longitude. On the inside, it has an image, and this image represents this uh, fancy pants red car that we have over here. Um, so what I want to do is that I want to go ahead and pull down all the data from uh, the database. Now, the way I do this is that I have to catch this page before it loads. And in order to do that, I use a component, will mount. And this will basically perform some action before the page mounts. So you want to go ahead and see what happens. If I throw an alert here, I write the word test, it should execute this before the page finishes resolving. So I have that here, and I have live reload on. And I press login, it says alert before the page is done. Now here, I want to go ahead and I want to ask uh, the database uh, what we're doing. Now in order to do this, I have to import Firebase from the top, which I did do here. Now I have to figure out the code to do this. Now I did put the code inside of a GIST, and if you head over to my GIST, uh, gist.github.com slash Alan Goldman, I went ahead and I outlined a couple things on, on how to do this, on how to get data. Now this is an example. Now this example doesn't follow the exact same structure as what we're doing, but I want to allow you to go ahead and fill in the details. Now this is saying the point did mount uh, right here. And we're dropping a variable called that equal to what this is. And here's where it pretty much starts. I said let q, so q is a variable, of course, it's a variable of my choosing, equal firebase.database.ref.listings. And essentially saying, okay, tell Firebase that I'm going to go to the listings section. Uh, and if I head over to my Firebase console, I go to console, and then I head over to Park and Pay, and I go to my database, you can see here that I have listings. Now, inside of listings, there are two things. Uh, there is an ID that represents that individual listing, and inside of that, we have some uh, information. That includes latitude and longitude, and that's really what I care about in this circumstance. I want to go through each listing and then map it slowly onto the page. Now, this is saying, again, find me the listing. Uh, and this is keeping track of an array. And here we have a promise. So if you remember, a promise is essentially waiting for something to execute that takes quite some time. And a dot then is when the promise succeeds. Also, we can have a dot catch for one of the fails. But let's just take off a dot then here. And you see here we have Q dot once. Now the dot once essentially means uh, are we going to get this data one time or are we going to watch out for changes? Now if this was a chat room, for example, I would use on instead of once. And I would use on and something to the effect of child added, which would essentially say that keep track of this data and once something is added to the data, go ahead and refresh this and reload this. But since we only want the listings to show up one time, I'm going to use once and I'm gonna use a value. Now this will go ahead and drop the results in something called a snapshot. And because since we have uh, two listings and soon to have more listings, uh, I'm gonna to have to loop over each. Now essentially what I wanna do, I wanna take the snapshot, which should be a list, an array of objects, and I wanna say for each one, iterate over it, take the data, and take the value of that data keep track of the key and push which means add to this array and this will go ahead pull out the data add it to this array and then we can iterate it over later so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to copy this guy over and i am going to paste this here by mistake i had an extra curly brace now this will keep track of that um, so let's go ahead and actually let's see what's inside of this. 
So inside here, I'm just going to put a debugger. And this is for each snapshot. So this should execute every time we find one listing. I'm going to save this, and I'm going to put my terminal on the left-hand side, put my browser to the right of it, and I'm going to go ahead and enable debugger. So debug JS remotely. I'm going to inspect element so, I can, so my code could stop. Once it hits debugger, I'm going to log in. And okay, so it immediately stopped right here inside of the place that I expected it. So I'm going to go ahead and say, what is the value of result here? And the first result is the first member. And if I press continue, if I go to continue, just stop again. I'll type result. It will be the second member. And then if I go to sources and I press play, it would finish. Now, what I want to do is that um, this is getting the key, um, which is this up here, which I want to keep track of. And then this is pushing it to this array. So I define a blank array up top called finish. And every time we find an individual listing, we say add it to, add it to the finished array, add it to the finished array. And then on the dot then, when this is finished, I want to set state. I want to create a state called listing data, and I want that to be equal to finished. So I'm going to go ahead and just truncate that a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and add a default state up top. I'm going to inherit my properties. I'm going to say this, that state equals I believe I call it listing data. I'm gonna make it equal to blank array. I'm gonna save that. And now it will get that. Um, I won't be able to see anything. But if we don't get an error, it means it worked. So I guess it worked. Um, but now I wanna go ahead and show that. Now, the way you wanna show this, that I wanna create a loop. Um, and I want it to loop over the individual marker. So one marker is one individual plot point. I want it to loop twice. So I'm going to actually save this in another tab. And right here, I put the loop. Now, the way you write a loop is this dot state dot, and I believe I had it as listing data. All right, so this dot state dot listing data dot map, and map will map over everything, and set what I'm mapping equal to x function x. And now the value of each thing will be x. And inside of here, uh, in order to show it, I have to type return. And it will show it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put, just to see if it shows, a view, a style, height of 50, a width 50, the background color, red. And it should show two, but they will be on top of each other. But if this shows at all, this will show that this is, this is working. I press login, and it works. It's a little bit off to the side, um, but it works. Something shows there, which is exactly what we want. Um, okay, so now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to make each individual thing a marker. Each thing is a marker. Uh, so I know that this is, uh, what do I save this guy? Save it here. This is map view marker. So I know map view marker can be written like this and it expects a latitude and longitude. Now, since each thing in the uh, iteration is X, X is the individual listing, uh, the latitude should be X's latitude, which comes from the database. This, this latitude, that latitude. And the same thing goes for longitude x.longitude. 
Now do note that I made this a self-closing marker. When you have a self-closing marker in this node module, it will create a pin at that location. And we want to say an image, but as a programmer, we do the simplest things first to see if we can get this working. And now let's go ahead and make sure this works before we go and move forward. I'm gonna log in. And I see two pins, this is exactly what I expected. Uh, and this is great. Okay, cool. Now that we have the pins, I wanted to show boxes. Uh, just for now, I'm gonna close map view dot marker. Just gonna make a view, height 20, go to 20, background color, pink, and I should see two boxes appearing, they might be next to each other. All right, so the boxes appear. Now, one thing with dot .map is that when you use dot .map, uh, React will complain, and it will say each child in array or iterator should have a unique key. And this is because in React, if something changes, or if some value changes, uh, React will want to update that one node. And the way it will target that node is by using its key. So we have to give the root element here a key. And that is why I want through the heartache of doing this, give me the result key. And I want the key to be this in the database, this. Because we already have a key. So the way we do that is that I set key equals. So I'm going to say key equals, I believe it's x dot key. I'm going to save that, and now React should stop complaining, and it did. There's no more error here. Fantastic. Uh, so instead of using this, I want to go ahead and use an image, uh, and I have it saved here. This is the image of the car icon. I'm going to save it. Log in. And now both car icons are shown. Uh, by the way, the way I'm zooming in on a Mac is Alt or Option and dragging my finger across the mouse pad. And sweet. Thanks for watching the video, guys.